Here's how you create a new Pro Tools session. From the Pro Tools menu, you go File, Create New Session, or you can type Command N. Once you do that, you're faced with this dashboard window. Here you can give your project a new name. I suggest Year, Month, Day, Project Name, and Version Number. Something like this. Choose Local Storage. That way you're storing the session on your computer locally, on your local hard drives, and not using the Avid Cloud, which has limited storage and also uh, charges a certain fee. And make sure to keep the Create from Template option unchecked. For file type, you want to choose WAV file. Sample rate, you want to choose 48 kilohertz. For bit depth, 16 bit. IO settings, last used is always fine for what we're doing here in the school. And for the storage location of your project, you want to manually set a destination so the projects are going to the same directory every time. I have one in my documents folder called audio projects slash pro tool sessions. If you click on this, it'll open up your finder window and you can choose whatever destination directory that you'd like. A quick note on file type, sample rate, and bit depth. We're using these settings for the school, so we have a common workflow. There are other jobs that may require other sample rates, other bit depths. I do recommend, regardless of what you use, to try to record at the same sample rate and same bit depth that you're going to be editing in. So if you have a portable recorder, set those to the same settings that your project is set to. The fewer times you have to convert an audio file, ultimately, the better. Once everything is set here, click on Create, and you'll see your new Pro Tools session here. 